Pokemon Skull and Violet update have DLC that split into two parts, being the Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. And I wanted to wait till I have access to both parts so I can make this big video. Along the way, I will be making two teams of shiny Pokemon. Two parts, one big adventure. Let's get into it. Part 1. The Teal Mask So I get a phone call from Jack who informed me that I was selected to go on a school trip. We meet a lady named Briar who had revealed to be from the Blueberry Academy that's located in Unova. And she also got the Violet Book with a mysterious Pokemon on it. And after a quick flight, we arrived at Kitakami. Right out of the gate, I was ordered to go to the community center. But I had other plans. I got into making a shiny bug type sandwich to get a shiny Yanma. But let's just say the hunt was interesting. Blue shiny. Yes. <laughs> Another one. Oh no, come on back. Come back. It would be easier if I could ride my ride on. But guess what? I can't. Hey, can you come back? Please? I got poke treats. Gotcha. <laughs> Yay. That's three. I may have gotten three shiny Yanma, but I'm only bringing one with me, and I'm never evolving it. On the way to the community center, I meet Kieran and Carmine who offer me the battle, just for my shiny Pikachu to sweep a team. But why does she have to be so mean to her brother? The next day, I was offered a group assignment to find the three shrines in Kitakami. I picked Kieran as my partner, and he offered a battle. And to my surprise, he was pretty hard to beat. So after beating Kieran, I told him that I'll catch up because I got some shiny hunting to do. Checking the map, I found out there's a color outbreak nearby. So I knocked out 60 Pokemon and made a sparkling psychic sandwich. It didn't take long for shiny color to show up. And after a bit of training, I evolved into Gardevoir. Next, I meet Kieran, who I'm hoping he's not upset I'm taking too long to get a blue shiny, and read an old folktale about the ogre and the loyal three. And we both took a picture. <laughs> it's so silly. Then we went to the second shrine that's located at Kitakami Hall. He then wants to go to the cave where the ogre lives, and before I know it, he won the battle. My shiny anima got revenge. We then head to Kieran's place to meet his parents. And can I say that Grandma looked like one of the characters from The Legend of Zelda? Grandma Pura gave me a Jinbei. I love Japan. Carmen comes out to look for a mask before changing her mind and want to battle. And yeah, the battle is getting harder. But I love the Swat Loon. We head to Kitakami Hall to have a good time as the ogre watch us. And I gotta say, that ogre ousting minigame was really fun. But too bad I gotta stick with the story. Speaking of the ogre, it gets spotted and chased away and accidentally dropped his mask. Carmen knew how much Kieran loved the ogre but decided not to tell him and instead pretend like nothing happened. The next day I had to Kieran's house to give the mask to his grandpa and he happened to know the real story behind the ogre. Kieran hears everything and pretend nothing happened. We meet up with him and told me to go to Paradise Barrens. Now that seems to be a long walk for him so I decided to shiny hunt. First I went for Gerda. Four minutes after making fighting sparkling sandwich, it shined. Oh! And four minutes in, got your buddies. Got your buddies here, hi. Hi there.
Then I went for Grubbin, who has one of the best shines in Alola. It was one of my team members back in the Sun and Moon games. The hunt had went on for some time with just a sandwich, but I eventually got it. Hey there. I then evolve into Charger Bug and then Vicable. I then meet Kieran, had a quick battle, and took another photo. I feel really bad for Kieran. As Kieran go back home, I decide to do another shiny hunt for Sandshrip. The easiest way is to go to a cave that's right underneath Kitakami Hall, and you'll be able to find Sandshrew there so you can make either a ground type or a normal type sandwich. This hunt had took hours. It was so tiring, but after over 6 phases, this happened. Let's go! Finally! Another one! They are so cute! I immediately evolved one of them into Furry. So to fix the teal mask, I gotta go to the crystal pool to get the crystal cluster. Carmen and I get there and encounter a giant Milotic. Defeating it awarded us the crystal cluster, and then Briar suddenly appeared. Upon returning, we find out that Kieran has stolen the teal mask, so we had to go to the loyalty plaza to get it back. Going by how hard the battle is, Kieran was very serious. After defeating him, the Royal Three were resurrected and went down to eat mochi so they'll have strength to kill Ogapon. Luckily, we got there in time and scared him off. Ogapon became more friendly to us. Carmen came up with a plan to rid the trio once and for all. But in order to do that, we gotta figure out where they're going. So we head back downtown to gather some clues in order to figure out their location. I feel bad for Ogapon. Now each member also holding a mask, so we gotta collect them as we progressed. Now that we know where they are, I went to Mount Oni to fight against Fence and Dippity. Next is Okidori, who is located at Paradise Falls. Hi, have you seen a giant bear with a purple chain around his neck? Thank you. This battle was actually a lot harder than Fence and Dippity. And last but not least, Monkey Dory at Whistler Pond. And this battle was the hardest of the three. After beating the trio and obtaining the mask, Kieran appears to tell us to go back to town. Everyone seemed to like Ogapon now, and it's all thanks to Kieran who had told him the real story behind the royal trio. We returned to Ogapon's home and Kieran offered us one last battle, and it was the hardest battle. Kieran grew jealous as Ogapon saw how strong I am and wanted to stay with me. But first, it wanted to see how strong I really am, and I was not ready for this battle. Not only it knocked out almost all of my team members, it had changed its mask form. I love how each time Ogapon switches mask, it remembers this adventure with me, Karma, and Kieran. Thankfully, it didn't take out my shiny girder. And after a long stressful battle, I finally defeated Ogapon. And caught it in friend ball. Next day came and I was told to go meet Karma at the Royalty Plaza. And she wanted to battle with Ogapon. Now it was a fun battle, and I love how Carmen's Swaloon evolved into Lavani. For those that don't know, Swaloon evolves through friendship, and that shows how much Carmen had grew throughout the story. After the battle, we returned to where it all started, and before departing, Carmen revealed that she didn't like outsiders because her home was being treated as a tourist trap. But after interacting with us, she grew closer, and now she's hoping I come to the Blueberry Academy. Meanwhile,
I feel really, really bad for Kieran. And that's the end of part one, the teal mask. Part two, the indigo disc. And just in time for Sarano to take me to the Blueberry Academy. After having a double battle with Lacey, I was taken to the Terraria, and it contains four biomes being the Canyon, Coastal, Polar, and Savannah. Lacey told me to go to the Coastal Biome so I could do an assignment, but first, I want to take a little detour. And as I was doing that, I found this. And not too long after, I found another shiny. And I'm using them. As I'm on my way to meet Lacey, I stumbled upon another shiny. A blue shiny Zangus. I did not expect a shiny Zangus. I'm going for the dive ball. Blue shiny. So after finally meeting Lacey, the teacher assigned his students to catch a regional form that's in the coastal biome. There are quite a few Alola forms in the Galarian Slowpoke, but I want to stand out by catching a shiny version, and I got one Pokemon in mind, Alolan Exeggutor. So, I made a sparkling dragon sandwich, and I got the shiny hunting. There we go! Second a little in the second tower. Shiny. Okay, the third one. I didn't expect to get three of them. And on top of that, the teacher didn't mention that it had a different color. So next I get a call from Carmen, and she find out that I'm at the school. So she wanted to come and battle me. Now before I go any further, what if she sees Ogre Pond? That is so sweet. After the battle, we hear Kieran nearby, and he went through a lot. Poor Kieran. Then I get to meet her classmate and LE4, Drayton. As he asks me to join the Blueberry League, the rest of LE4 show up, including Kieran. Is the Blueberry League hard? Time for another shiny hunt. And my next member will be Blitzel. So I went to this little area that's in the savannah biome and made a sparkling electric sandwich. Blue shiny Blitzel! Well, hello there. Am I going to use this shiny sub striker? No. Blue shiny blissle. If you're going to get Shiny Blitzel, watch out for Wild Charge! There is no way I'm evolving it. So each member has a trial I have to complete, and once I've finished, 
Then I battled him. So after completing Lacey's quiz game, I went right into battle. This is gonna be hard. First, I'm going to complete the rest of the trials. Alright, now I can focus on team building. I come to this area to find the Shining Trap Bench. Vibrava and Flygon also spawn there. If I make a ground sparkling sandwich, which one will shine first? We'll have to wait and see. Shiny! And after finding it, I find a Shiny Vibrava. Shiny Vibrava! To take care of Lacey's fairy type Pokemon, I'm going to need a poison type. And since I got a shiny Zangoose, why not catch his nemesis, the Viper? Uh oh! Since the coastal biome spawns a few other species of poison Pokemon, I went to this little area where the Viper would be the only one to spawn. Then I made a sparkling poison sandwich and got into hunting. Another shiny survivor. All right, that green and blue looks so good on the shiny survivor. Guess who showed up right before the match? Now I have four of them, and now you get to watch me battle. Those were really tough battles, and there's still one left, Champion Kieran. Oh boy. Hmm. 
But first, what if I bring out Ogapon? Oh. And I win. But Kion has lost it. After the match, I was called to go see Gita and Briar as we're all going back to Paldea with Carmen and Kieran. And upon leaving, Gita forgot to give Briar the indigo disc. Haha. <laughs> Briar's intention was to go to Area Zero and search for his hidden treasure. But to get there, I gotta take the elevator that I used in the base game to get to the laboratory. But this time we're going deeper. Good thing I brought the indigo disc because the doors were locked. We get down there and find a book revealing that Terrapagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero and the terrestrial phenomenon that is known to be a stellar type. Going deeper, we found four stellar type Pokemon. And so we finally get inside this crystallized room. Kieran finds the crystal and rushes over to pull it out. And he reveals that he grew jealous of me of making friends and become a stronger trainer than him. Yikes. And the crystal transformed into a baby Terrapagos. Kieran catches it in a master ball and challenged me to the battle. And after winning against him, and after winning, Kieran grew even more upset. Briar noticed that Terrapagos wasn't using his full potential, so Kieran terrestrialized it. In moments before disaster, Terrapagos becomes so powerful that it broke the Master Ball, and it's up to us to defeat it. I feel really bad for Kieran, and after all he had to go through, he had let me catch Terrapagos. And just like Ogapon, I caught Terrapagos in the Friend Ball too. The adventure is over, everyone went back to Blue Bay Academy, Kieran apologized, and the story ends. But we're not done yet. As I was making this video, the Pokemon Company announced the epilogue for the hidden treasure of Area Zero. So that's what we're going to do. To unlock this event, you will need to complete both parts of the DLC and get the mythical Petra Berry from the Mystery Gift. You don't need Nintendo Switch Online to do it. And as of recording this video, there's no end date, so you can get it at any time you want. With that out of the way, let's get this started. So getting the item, we've unlocked a brand new event in Kitakami called Mochi Mayhem. We go to the store and find this mysterious Petra Berry, and during the call, it suddenly disappeared. You guys saw that, right? It was there, but it's not there. Arvin, you saw it, right? We got video chat. Anyway, I go back to my house and meet the Zero crew, and we had a good time. And I received a letter from Kieran, and he asked me to come back to Kitakami. And I ain't the only one visiting. After we get there, we meet Kieran and they introduce to each other. And the Mona wants to battle with Kieran. Kieran loses, but he's fine with it. And seconds later, Carmen comes up and does the... The chicken dance? That's funny. Kieran couldn't figure out why she was acting like that. Later that night, we have all went to a community center to settle down. The Mona went outside as we are all trying to find a remote. As me and Kieran went out to check on her, she was nowhere to be found. We did find villagers in hoping that they know where she went. But... They're doing the chicken dance too. And they wanted the battle? Well, we're going to stop there for a moment because shiny time. And call me crazy because I'm going to shiny hunt a Flygon. And since there's an outbreak going on in the Blueberry Academy, why not? At least I'll complete the evolution line of shiny Flygon. Shiny. Aww, Flygon the Spacey. As I was training Flygon back in Paldea and farming some materials, 
I stumbled upon a shrine that I never thought I'd get. Everyone, if you didn't see a shiny for Mantis yet, now you have. And it's a really good shiny. Now watch as it evolves. Now that's a really good shiny. I really love the colors on shiny Flygon. Now I got a blue shiny and a green shiny. Kimin seems to really like my shiny. Next, Kira and I go to Kinakami Hall where we find his grandparents. Grandpa was tricked to eat a mochi, and now he's doing the chicken dance with Grandma, so now we battle them. After that, I decided to shiny hunt another Pokemon. So I went to Mossfell Confluence to find a shiny apple. Okay, so I get a shiny hoot hoot. Out of all the shinies, I get Blissey. After getting a call from Arvin, I come back to the community center to check on him. Penny tries to tell Arvin that she saw something floating around and we soon find out it was a mythical Pokemon called Petcherant. And this explains the funny chicken dance as the same Mochi Mochi. Defeating Arvin and Penny who caused Petrin to run away. And it's time for another shiny hunt. And I choose Heracross, since there's an outbreak. And at some point, I happen to find a shiny timber. Ow! Oh. A shiny timber. Now I go to the Loyalty Plaza to defeat that Pokemon. And it seems Nimona got hypnotized too, so now I gotta defeat her. That's funny how the whole town came together to do the dance. Well, time to add another member. Finally. If anyone else likes shiny hair across, let me know. Now I get to finally battle Petulant. But what if I bring out Ogapon and the Royal Three?
Who gets our catch in the front ball? And now that Petrovan is defeated, everything went back to the way it was. And that is it for the DLC. That was a lot. If you made it this far and like my shiny hunter videos, consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.